<clears throat> all right so I've got the uh, oil pan off and the windage tray off and obviously the oil uh, pickup too uh, this is my number seven cylinder uh, so I'm particularly curious about the condition of, of this one so uh, I'll start with this one I'll take the uh, rod bolts out um, rotate the motor so I can get that piston out I may have to take the number eight out um, as well but anyway uh, I'm going to start with this that'll give me a chance to check the um, rod bearings um, as well and then I may end up taking off a, uh, a main bearing uh, as well and see the condition there so anyway um, that's what we're going to get started with if you sw see me swinging at the air like an idiot um, it's because I have the fans turned off and the mosquitoes uh, here in the summer heat are relentless Keep losing pieces now. The Ringland, so it didn't crack the top, but it cracked uh, the piston there between the two piston rings, um, and it, so there's a whole chunk missing. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, then it cracked it there as well. There's another little crack. All right, this hole. Yeah, another section missing. So there we go. Thought I was starting to go crazy. I was really expecting to see a section of uh, the piston missing, but it was actually between the piston rings. That's what went. So there we go. Okay. Um, I thought this might be a good opportunity just to take a closer look uh, at the piston so you can see exactly what failed. Uh, this number seven cylinder failure is fairly common um, with the LS1s. So just give you a closer look. <clears throat> so what we're looking at here, um, so you have three, essentially three uh, piston rings. So this one, this one, and this one. And then um, this, this, and this. This is all part of the, the piston. So these, the rings fit into a grooved surface. Um, so obviously you can see the, the large section of the piston uh, that's missing. And it's... Um, it's also broken, rotate it around here a little bit for you. Um, you can see it right here, it's, it's broken as well. So that whole section of piston is ready to, to come out. Um, though actually most of this stayed together. Uh, you can see some of the other bits and particles, but most of this stayed in the cylinder uh, until I pull it at, pulled it out. And then once I pulled it out, uh, it started falling apart. Um, but you can see it cracked it. Um, I don't know how well you can see that. But there's a crack there, a crack there, there's a crack there. Um, what's the rest of the way around? Looks reasonably decent. You know, minus the section of piston getting ready to fall out. <clears throat> so typically what happens as this cylinder heats up rapidly um, the metal uh, expands and what happens is this piston ring should be able to float and center itself in the in the piston uh, in the bore of the cylinder um, but these two surfaces uh, will start to close up and are to pinch down on the ring um, as you can see this one still sticks a little bit this side of it moves freely but it's binding along in here somewhere. Um, I can kind of force it out, but uh, that's probably what happened. Uh, so it began to bind in here. The piston rings can no longer self-center. Of course, that pressure's got to go somewhere. Um, so it eventually uh, cracks the piston. Most of the failures that I had seen uh, takes out the top surface. Um, so that's why I was expecting when I pulled the cylinder heads off uh, to see a section of the top of the piston missing. Uh, but in my case, that's not what happened. It cracked it um, below the first um, piston ring. Uh, so all of this in here is gone. Uh, and then it cracked it, um, like I said, in some other places as well. So I've got to make a decision about what direction I go back with. Obviously, um, forged pistons uh, will can take a little bit more abuse. Um, 
but that's a more involved uh, rebuild, obviously more money. Then it's a question of, you know, what do I do uh, with the rods? Um, let's go ahead and get that so you can see it. Rod bearings really don't look that bad. Um, I wouldn't reuse them uh, probably, but it um, doesn't seem like a ton of metal uh, went through there where they were just destroyed or anything of that nature. Um, I think the fact that most of the piston material uh, stayed in the cylinder until I pulled it out uh, was actually a good sign. Uh, so I'm hopeful uh, when I finally get the oil pump out uh, that I won't find a bunch of significant damage uh, in that. Um, but we'll just see. Like I said, we're still kind of uh, exploratory at the moment. But anyway, just want to give you a closer look um, at what that failure uh, actually looks like. Just one final look. I fished out some of the uh, other parts of the piston so you can see uh, how much in there had actually cracked and broken loose. Uh, so no surprise that I was losing compression.